Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring you my weekly review. Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here, meeting my icon Catherine Isabel here. Going on a road trip, huh? Yeah. On a tour of America's most famous UFO hotspots. I hear that. I cannot believe we're going to see Area 51. Uh, hi. I'm Paul. <laughs> What have you done to him? He fainted. Yeah, but you didn't make him faint. But it's not like I set my phaser to faint. You got a phaser? Oh, God. I really need your help. This is a matter of life and death. Heads up. We just got reassigned. I want E.T. back in his fishbowl or dead ASAP. Hey! Ah! Reese's Pieces! Yes, thank you. What if he inserts a probe into our you-know-what? Well, apparently they don't do that. Anyone want one of these? Eh? Anyone? Eh? Morning. <gasps> He's from another world. He cannot be from space. It's not possible. You saw it for yourself. He's right there. Are they looking? Are they looking right now? <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here to bring another movie review. This time we're going to be talking about the science fiction comedy, Paul. How did you go invisible? Like Predator. It's a camouflage response. But you can do it anytime you want. Anytime. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Have you gentlemen seen anything unusual this evening? No, not really. <laughs> oh! Guys, this is too dangerous. I can make it on my own from here. We are in this together, Paul. Tell me which way the little green guy went. Why are we holding hands? So we look like a family. Just a couple of regular guys walking down the street with a small cowboy. Break it down, boys. Stoke the fire. This is the most fun I have ever had. He'll be okay? Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah. Don't worry, I got it all under control. Ah! Uh, what, uh, what are you doing? Just watch. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> oh. Oh. Mm. Why would oh. you do that? I'm not gonna eat a dead bird, am I? <laughs> Directed by Greg Matola and written and starring, written by and starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, as well as Jason Bateman and Kristen Wiig, also featuring the voice of Seth Rogen. Paul is a road comedy, you know, about two science fiction geeks who meet an extraterrestrial being with a sar sarcastic manner and appetite for alcohol and cigarettes. They help the alien escape the FBI agents pursuing him so he's able to return to his home planet. So yeah, I just watched Paul a couple nights ago and I definitely wanted to talk about it. I have the uh, Blu-ray copy right here. It's one I bought uh, a little while ago, um, just knowing it's the kind of film I'll, you know, I'll enjoy, I'm sure. Um, you know, it's, uh, like I said, it's by Simon Pegg and Nick Frost there. Um, you know, I did a review on Shaun of the Dead uh, quite a while ago, so if you guys want to look up that review, um, otherwise I'll probably link to it at the end of this video. Um, yeah, I did, I did like Shaun of the Dead, of course, and, uh, you know, it's hard to decide between Paul and Shaun of the Dead. I mean, you know, it's, they're a little bit different. Um, 
I haven't seen Hot Fuzz yet, but I'm kind of happy to sing these two for now anyway. Um, but yeah, Paul uh, was a, a lot of fun. I, I quite enjoyed myself watching it. I feel like I was just a little bit off, just a little bit, uh, just a little bit too, yeah, it was good, don't get me wrong, but just not quite great for me. Um, there's just something holding it back from achieving that like A plus, you know, A level, um, but I still thought it was a very good time. Uh, you know, it's a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a simple story, you know, it's sort of like a, you know, mockery, not mockery, it's sort of like a tribute to like E.T., except with, uh, you know, a little bit more, uh, mature, you know, humor, and, you know, that's like, a yeah, it's a much more adult version of what that kind of story could be like. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, it's like they said that, you know, uh, you know, I was reading about it, you know, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, they made it as like a love letter, you know, to their favorite sci- you know, their favorite sci-fi movies. Um, especially with who ends up being the, you know, the big guy in the movie, you know, the boss, Jason Bateman's boss in the movie. Um, you know, there's a lot of references all over the place, you know, to different, you know, films and franchises. It was pretty cool on that end. Um, but, you know, again, uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, they had a really fun chemistry together, you know, I, I can see why these guys are such a, you know, memorable duo. Um, and I, I even like the opening quite a bit, you know, them traveling to go to, uh, San Diego Comic Con, like the montages of them there. Um, and of course when they end up, uh, you know, running into Paul, um, you know, on the road, you know, that's what it really kicks off, and, uh, yeah, I guess they're considering a couple different voices for Paul. I guess they're considering someone like Jack Nicholson or something at one point as well. Which would remind me a lot of a video game called, uh, you know, Destroy All Humans, because the actor who, uh, voiced, uh, Crypto, the main character in that, was kind of based it, his voice off of, a uh, Jack Nicholson kind of thing. Um, because at first I guess they wanted Paul to be, you know, like, this, uh, sound like this dirty, like, more bitter kind of older alien, I guess. Um... But, you know, they end up going with a voice when they, uh, you know, they had uh, brought up Seth Rogen, I suppose. Um, and, you know, Seth Rogen, he did a fine job for sure. Um, like I said, there are a couple of little things that held the back from being great to me, but at the same time, I say a couple of little things, but then I can't pinpoint what they exactly were. Um, yeah, I just not really enjoyed it, maybe just not the best thing in the world. Um... But, you know, I think it's definitely something worth watching for sure, you know, uh, I bought it in confidence and I don't regret it whatsoever. Uh, you know, a lot of fun moments, uh, you know, when they're on the road and, you know, they try to instill, like, a little bit of a more emotionally rooted, uh, backstory of how Paul got his name, you know, con connected to this old lady when he first arrived on Earth, you know, I thought that was, you know, pretty good. Um, and then Kristen Wiig, she ends up, uh, being this, uh, this very sheltered, uh, you know, Christian, and, uh, you know, she ends up being pulled into it, you know, by Nick Frost and, uh, Simon Pegg's characters, um, you know, very sheltered, uh, you know, just very, uh, almost, like, straightforward, not quite extremist, but, you know, just a big religious type, um, and, you know, I watched a couple other reviews on this when I, when I finished it, and I guess some people have seen that as, like, a problem with the movie that it supposedly like mocked or like uh, taunted Christianity, Christianity or whatever because a couple times in the movie or a few times you know Paul actually goes off on a you know some rants about how you know he doesn't really see it as being uh, that uh, possible or you know he kind of you know he kind of just uh you know lays into it a little bit with how illogical you know it is to him um me personally I'm not religious at all um but, you know, I also expect those that are, of course. And, you know, I can see why people might be a little bit bothered by some of it in it. But, you know, I don't think they're specifically... Uh, I don't think, like, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost specifically wrote this movie to, uh, you know, mock a religion, you know, so I don't think you should take it, you know, quite that harshly. Um, for me, I found it actually kind of amusing, kind of on point, but... <laughs> um, yeah, at the same time, I don't think it should uh, ruin the film for you either. Um, you know, though, though I can see some people are really devout to it, maybe it would leave a sour taste in your mouth, I, I don't know. But that's definitely not the point of the whole movie, that's for sure. Um, 
Like I said, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost have good chemistry, and Louis Jason Bateman's pretty good as well. And, uh, you know, I actually like how, when you find out more about his character, you know, I thought he's just like the stereotypical, like, uh, agent that was just gonna chase after him, and he kind of was, but there's actually more going on with his character and who he is. And I, I kind of like that twist with it. Um, you know, I was kind of hoping for like a more fun action sequence or something, and I feel like we didn't quite get that with this one. But just like the situations and, uh, <laughs> you know, just the awkward scenarios that the three get into, it just makes the whole movie worth it. And uh, again, who the big guy, the boss ends up being. Um, I'm guessing most of you guys have seen this by now if you're watching this video. But I'm going to read this real quick and then talk about more direct spo uh, spoilers, I suppose. Um, so overall, I have uh, Paul at a B, B plus right now. Um, but honestly, I think I'm probably going to end up giving it a B plus, maybe even closer to an A minus. Um, I gave it a couple of days to think about it, and I, I, I did really like it, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, who the big guy ends up being is uh, Sigourney Weaver. She has an appearance in the movie, um, which is, you know, just a you know, a complete, you know, again, salute, and just, uh, of course it's Sigourney Weaver, you know, Ellen Ripley. <laughs> um, you know, so that was a lot of fun with that reveal at the end. Um, and, uh, Jason Bateman actually ends up being, uh, you know, a friend of Paul's, and I like that. I, w I would actually like a prequel with, uh, Jason Bateman's character and Paul. I think that'd be fun to explore the friendship they formed. Um, because it was their plan working together all along throughout this movie. And, uh, yeah, you know, I guess like one of my, f I guess they were considering a sequel, but I guess there was a lot of money that went into, uh, you know, creating all the animation and everything, and the amount of time it would take to develop all that. Um, so I guess they never actually got, a, you know, got really the right um, moment to, I suppose, which is a, which is a shame. But I also don't mind it as a one-off movie. And again, I think a prequel with him and Jason Bateman would have been kind of fun. Um, but either way, I think it was a really, really fun and, uh, memorable movie, actually. I think it's one of my favorite comedies I've watched in a little while, at least. Um, my one issue, I'm guessing you guys are still watching, you guys probably didn't stop at the spoiler, because everyone else has seen this movie. <laughs> um, but my issue with this movie is probably Kristen Wiig. Um, I know she's going to be playing Cheetah in the Wonder Woman sequel, which is okay. I, I'm kind of with others. I think they could have picked someone a little bit different. Um, you know, I guess she has had more serious roles. Uh, and of course, this is more more of a comedy, so I guess I shouldn't talk about her Wonder, Wonder Woman casting right now. Um, and well, she is funny, and she has some, some good moments with Simon Pegg especially. Um, you know, I found her character to be a little bit awkward. Well, I know she was meant to be awkward, but she was a little... her performance, I felt, was a little bit cringy at times, or just, uh, it's not quite as funny as I thought it was, at least with her. Um, and every time I see Kristen Wake, she just doesn't quite click with me. I don't know what it is. Um, but other than that, I think, uh, the whole movie was just, uh, again, a good time. Um, and I'll see it, like, I'm rating probably closer to a B plus A minus. So I know what you guys thought about it. And I'm sure there's plenty more specific things we could talk about, so comment below and we can talk about them. Uh, <laughs> I know I, I don't make the best reviews, I, I know that, but I still like ranting about movies I enjoy, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, like, subscribe, and uh, peace.